What's up guys welcome to TechTubeHD and uh, today we are going to see what's inside this graphical pen tablet. So you might have seen those things, uh, some people use this for graphical uh, designing. This tablet comes in many different variants, uh, some tablets have directly display on uh, the working area and some tablets have this flat surface. I've been using this tablet since last one year and uh, I've been uh, working on some uh, Premiere Pro projects and also with Photoshop. So this pen works so good with those pressure level brushes you have in Photoshop. So that's why I love the, using this pen. But the one thing I don't like about this tablet is this flexible digitizer. Now when I'm working with a pen, I need a surface to be uh, plain and hard. And this flexible digitizer as a surface makes me so much uncomfortable to work because even if I keep it on flat surface, this bump here, you can see it, it gets curved and uh, it, bumps up a little bit so this is really uncomfortable to work with the second thing as you can see this tablet has no batteries you just have this digitizer flexible digitizer and uh, some electronics in this part and this tablet needs to be connected with a uh, computer uh, so let's come to the pen now this pen is powered up uh, with a AAA battery and let me show you so this is a single AAA battery. This powers up the pen. You get total three functional buttons. This tip works as a uh, left click by default and this button here works as a right click and this middle button is programmable. That means you get to program this uh, third button here uh, as you want. All the three buttons are programmable. So you also get this replacement tips uh, with this pen and not only this, you also get this ring uh, that helps you to remove tip from the pen and replace it so uh, this is all about uh, pen and the tablet now let's go ahead and see what's inside this pen and what's inside this tablet so let's get started so we are going to start with uh, this pen because uh, opening this tablet will be a really difficult task so let's get started with the easy thing this is the pen and uh, first of all i'll remove the tip so now first of all i'll take off the tip i have separated tip from the pen now to open this pen you don't need to uh, bend it or break it uh, you just have to unscrew this cap first of all and then you can see this uh, tiny lock over here you just have to press it in and pull this out so here you go this is how you separate uh, this circuit from the pen now before pulling it out you need to take off these buttons from the pen so that it won't damage our circuit so you can see I have took off those buttons from the pen so that it won't damage circuit now carefully remove the circuit and this is what you get inside this pen this is a coil as uh, I have explained in my previous video with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3s pen uh, you get this primary coil in the pen and secondary coil in your uh, tablet or your phone so that uh, it can interact so this both the pens are pretty much similar you get this primary coil uh, in both the pens and uh, the difference is this pen don't need any batteries to work as it as it gets charged uh, by the device itself but this pen needs a triple a battery and uh, here are the other two buttons i don't think i should take this remaining part off because uh, this is all you have inside this circuit this coil and uh, some buttons and this battery compartment so this is all you have inside the pen this is totally empty now let's come back to the tablet now i have no idea how to open this tablet because you got no screws here and i think i have to take this off uh, very roughly this is uh, i guess it's aluminium tape or something see at the beginning i thought uh, this is a metal which you see here but it turns out to be I guess this is uh, aluminium tape or something you see it's removable now let's unscrew these screws 
you need that uh, Phillips screwdriver in order to take off these screws. Now that I have unscrewed all screws, uh, I'll just go ahead and try to rip this off. Looks like uh, there are a few locks on the corners. This thing is off already. Now let's go ahead and open this up. This is what you have. So here are a few components. Uh, this is the digitizer which has this uh, data cable connected to uh, your uh, IC. And I guess this is removable. Let's go ahead and try to remove it. And finally, and finally we are inside this digitizer <laughs> and I guess now you can unplug this ribbon wire from, oh, it, it, yeah, as you can see it broke. So this is what's inside a pen tablet. Now as you can see there are uh, lots of terminal lines running uh, on this work area. I don't know what's that for. And you have lots of glue on the corners but not on the work area. This was the first layer of your digitizer and this is the second layer. Now let's see if we have third layer too. So we are just going to take this second layer off. This is the second layer, the middle layer, which is actually uh, connected to your IC. I love this sound. I don't believe I just destroyed digitizer in pieces. See, this is digitizer of this uh, graphical pen tablet and it's delicate and hard at the same time I can tear into pieces so this is basically the second layer that is the digitizer of your graphical pen tablet and it's destroyed already now coming to the third layer this is the third layer the rubberized I guess it's rubber and uh, there are a few threads and glue running uh, all over inside. So this is basically the third layer of the tablet. And this is the circuit. So I'm going to take off this circuit. So this is the circuit. So this is pretty much it guys. This is what you get uh, inside graphical paint tablet and do comment down below if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet so share this video among your friends thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in next one